So welcome to South Africa everyone. This is uh, the first episode of a yearly thing. It will happen now from now on. Oh, you locked it in. The guys are locked in already. They've already said they love it after just doing uh, the bonnet and uh, the FO Good Camp. So lots of training, lots of hard work to be done. Quaddy's driving, driving the ship, yeah. So uh, we're in good hands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got God's window. If you actually go past the curios, people that are selling all those handmade things, you can get a view of the world from on top there. Probably the best view you'll see our chance in South Africa. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular, isn't it? It's a shame it's a bit misty, but you point on picking up as well on the camera, but it's just incredible, uh, incredible view, incredible valley. The hills like this in Denmark? Ah, almost. Yeah, for 100 meter, I think it's the same. 60. There's a in altitude. It's hard. To see and can never be seen. What to do? First day, MP already has to assert his dominance. Yeah. Home turf. Home turf. I'm having down an advantage, man. I've let him ride about half a wheel in front of me the whole time just to keep the morale up. So we're taking a bit of a different approach this year. February is all about, uh, besides the guys that are in Qatar and Oman, uh, it's about training, getting ready for the rest of the year. We're at uh, altitude here in South Africa, and uh, it's not to say we're on holidays, there's some, actually there's a lot of hard work, some uh, strength efforts, some really intense efforts, and uh, basically get right into shape to, uh, to go back to the attack for Paris, Lisa and Torino. Well, it's early morning here, Pia, before six o'clock. We're leaving very early for Kruger National Park. We're going to see lots of lions and tigers and bears. Where's Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Mr. Stevens won't be coming with us today. He's uh, he's been ill the last couple of days, and uh, he's bedridden. <laughs> Andre! <laughs> Andre! Don't get out of the car, man! Why didn't they grab your phone out of your hand? Hey, in Indonesia, they do. They come, they take your sunglasses, they train them to take your sh. Open the door now, boys. Don't open the door now. <laughs> Tiring start so far. Why? We saw more at uh, Crystal Springs than what we've seen over here, so hopefully it gets better from here on. It's just a damn mood in your car, we're loving it in there. Oh, okay, well, that's good. <laughs> Can I give you a fun fact? No. <laughs> Every single zebra stripes are slightly different, yes. like a thumbprint. Yeah, and the second fun fact is always have your door closed <laughs> when you're <it's> <laughs> There's the sheriff version of the zebra. <laughs> are you happy now, mate, or you still got the shit? It's improved. It's improved. It's an improvement. I'm happy. I'm happy. Dan. But uh, everybody I'm else really seems happy. pretty happy, so I'm happy that uh, everybody else is happy. Well, what, 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 I, I wanted. I wanted. I, just, well, I knew it would be difficult to find a big five, but it would be nice, you know. So, I'm. I'm. It's like when my dad says to me, 
I'm not upset, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> you know, it's like that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, so we need a line now. Yeah, we need a line, that would be great. But right, uh, let's get him. Like yeah. hen's teeth out here. How'd you rate through, mate? It was a pretty negative car in the yesterday, I'd have to say. Oh, I think that was probably just come from the driver, actually. I think uh, the passenger didn't there, me, Esteban, and um, Christian, all had a blast. Uh, you know, people travel from all over the world to see these animals in the Kruger National Park, and it's just around the corner, so it's a great opportunity and uh, a good rest of activity. What was your highlight of that day? Uh, the lion, seeing the lion on the way out, actually. Yeah, that. that uh, just uh, that was the icing on the cake for me. It was awesome up until then, and then uh, I just wanted to see a big cat at the end of the day, and we saw that line. Uh, it's really, really, really good. I think we have really lucky. Look, three, three days, five weeks. Lion, elephant, and buffalo. Ah, oh, it's amazing, man. It's really different for the training camp in Europe or Australia or wherever it is. It's helped for disconnect the, the head. And now I'm um, new man, man. <laughs> and are you trying to get a job as a commissaire? Because you were uh, in the lead car all day. Yeah, I'm the boss, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, hear the elephant? No, I stop it. Oh, you, you can't go in. Oh, here's the lion or whatever. I'm you the You control the bunch? Yeah, I control. Okay. Always. <laughs> Look, uh, being a tour guide is not my forte, but uh, 11 different uh, official languages here in South Africa. We've got uh, here in Pilgrim's Rest down here, it used to be an old gold mining town, which uh, ran out of gold, really. And uh, it was also a trading post from what Owen tells me. So uh, he'll give you a little bit more about South Africa. This guy knows it all. Uh, I wish I knew it all, but yeah, Daryl's got it right there. The old trading post, gold. Mining Town, um, Kruger National Park, our biggest game park in South Africa. We've got nine uh, provinces in South Africa and you're in Mpumalanga at the moment, which is uh, a far northeastern corner of South Africa. Natural waterfalls, we've got Mac Mac Pools, we've got Lisbon Falls, Berlin Falls, God's Window, basically on a clear day you can see, you can nearly see Europe from there, it's so beautiful. Um, what about food, Darryl? The food, the meat here in South Africa, everybody's been raving about the meat. Uh, we've probably got the finest cuts of meat in South Africa. Best butchers, you know, best game. We grain feed everything here, you know. Uh, uh, so, no, we've, we've uh, I think the guys have really been enjoying South Africa. They've been enjoying the food, the culture. Um, a lot of them thought we lived in huts, so it's been good to show them that actually we've got houses and electricity sometimes of the day. Yeah, I didn't really get to see any part of the Kruger National Park. I um, spent most of the day on the dunny, uh, trying to feel, feel a bit under the weather. But anyway, the boys, they did their best to try to make me feel, you know, part of the team. Brought me this bloody wonderful T-shirt. Uh, and they even come home and set a fire. That didn't really work out the way it was meant to, though. <coughs> well, that's a wrap uh, for the backstage pass from South Africa. I just come home from one of the, uh, another long training sessions and. Jones has whipped me up uh, something on a bit of a bry here, a bit of South African barbecue food, which is always great. Kev, it could be a little underdone. It could be, yeah. Usually uh, the barbecues here aren't served everything charcoal, but anyway. One thing we one thing we found to uh, to offset the charcoal barbecues here in South Africa is uh, Mrs. Ball's chili chutney. And there's another couple of different chutneys as well, it doesn't all have to be chili. And it's, uh, it's lekker. Um, had a great training so far. And uh, we look, we're working on something behind the scenes, something very special, uh, another music video. I'm not going to give too much away, but we're under the pump here to get it done. We've, uh, the priority here is obviously training. But uh, Jones is working around the clock to get you something very special from our trip to South Africa. So hold on to your horses.